Bye guys. So here's my top five list of things to see and do in Chennai. Farm. We're here for a tour and some yummy fresh lunch. Let's go check it out. Come on. So we'll take you for a bit of a walk around <laughs> the farm. We'll show you some of the animals and things. So we rear the chickens basically for eggs. We don't uh, use them mm -hmm. for meat. We have sort of it's more like a old age home for horses. So meet Ray. Hi Ray. He's the only male that we have. How many years has the farm been around for? My parents started farming here in 1974. Mm -hmm. So they started with a small dairy farm. Right. And then it just took off and into different things. things yeah. So the best part about the restaurant here at the farm is that a lot of the stuff you eat is actually made here. We're gonna go to the store and maybe buy some more food. So what all do we have here? This section that you see in the mm -hmm. which is like a range of seasonal jams. Right. So I got some jams and some citronella oil for the house. So this has been an amazing two hours. I've actually seen them grow their vegetables, see the animals, eat a yummy lunch and go home with some great jam. So if you're in Chennai, make sure you come to the farm. So our lunch is here, we have quite the spread. Okay, so I'm going to start with taking a little bit of everything. We have the crab. And I'm wearing a white shirt. Disaster. So I'm going to try a different approach with my teeth now. So I really want to say I hate this masala because it's all over me right now. but. It is so yummy. It is so yummy. So good. So we are in Mahabalipuram at off-road spots and we're going to do something exciting. I'm going for an ATV ride on the beach. Let's do it! That was a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. It was slightly scary because I don't drive all right. So you definitely have to try this. This was so much fun. So you cannot come to Chennai and not come to Nelly Sirix. So we're just doing a walkthrough of the store right now. So what is the uh, what is the speciality of these, and what is the difference in the work, the jari? The more gold, the more expensive. Very, very traditional. Got a nice, bright, poppy, almost fluorescent green. Um, they actually have a lot of bright colours, which is what I love about the Kanjivaram. They're, they're traditional, but they still have a slightly funky element with their colours. So, I'm going to try on this sari, and hopefully I'm not going to like it, because if I like it, I'm going to buy it. It's got all the elements of uh, what I would buy. Different colors combination. Ah, this is nice. It's really pretty. Okay, so I am um, in a bit of a dilemma. I like two saris. I like this one and I like this one. And uh, I don't know what to get. Okay, give me, I think, give me both. This and this. What am I doing? I walked in here just expecting to look at the Kanjivaram sarees and I'm going home with two. That's how amazing this store is. So when you're in Chennai, come here. So today we are at Dakshina Shitra, which is a living museum of South Indian heritage spread across 10 acres of land. So yeah, it's going to be a long day, but I'm going to take you guys through it all. Come on. Shushitra is all about Southern India's art and architecture. Right. So the uniqueness of this museum is uh, uh, they recreated the living conditions of the past. Mm -hmm. This is from Chetia community. Mm -hmm. 
from Pudukota in Tamil Nadu. Okay. So now we are moving on to uh, Ambur House, okay. Brahmin House. Yeah. What is she making? Puppet. Oh wow. Okay, so we're gonna try and make a puppet, but I'm gonna try. She's disappointed in my cutting skills. And it's ready! So now we are entering into Satanil House, mm -hmm. the agriculture house. Okay. Nice guy Yeah. An old metal. Okay. Amma, you are very strong. So we have a potter actually making something here. But it's interesting that even in such close proximity, there's so much difference in their houses based on what they do and you know the uh, natural conditions around them. So it's quite amazing that they uh, support the artisans and the craftsmen here and they actually have the opportunity to continue their craft and people can buy it as they go. So we have a folk performance on from Andhra Pradesh right now. So once you're done with the museum, you can also check out their craft shop. So this is definitely one of the nicest museums I have been to in the country. You can actually check out the crafts, support the craftsmen and learn so much about uh, you know, the history, the houses, architecture. If you're in Chennai, you have to, have to, have to come here. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you guys.